Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to do a BrickLink tutorial on how to find the part out value of a Lego set. Now, this is a good question, especially if you're like in the clearance section and you want to buy a Lego set that is the best value for the money that you have. And we're going to go to the question that was actually asked, and it is from Ballistic Bricks. It is quick question, where do you find part out values and what to sell things for on your brick link? Good question. So you want to go to the average price that you can find on brick link. And the way I do this is you go to the reference catalog. This is the home page here for brick link, and that's the home tab. You got a bunch of different tabs with different things. You can use the catalog to get to this information, but we can go down here on this square and hit the reference catalog. So that's the reference catalog. Click on it and it will open up and you can look at all kinds of things. But you see here, look I've already clicked on it. It's the price guide. Click on the price guide. Now the information here is only going to be good for current values. Uh, it won't show you what something sold for in 1982 or, I mean, 2002, or BrickLink didn't exist in 1982. <laughs> but, so, you got view price guide info here, and part out value. This is the one that I use. So, let's say you want to find the set value. Like, I just did this bicycle, or this motorcycle shop, and sometimes sets have more than one, or there's more than one set with the same number. So, that's why they'll have the one and the two, and I'm going to do it for used. You can click here whether you include in the instructions, the box, the extra part. If it's a, like a three-in-one set where they have three sets all in one box. Not like a creator three-in-one, but one of these like Toys R Us things. You can break the sets here. And then you hit get the value. And this shows you that the current, this is what people are trying to sell the pieces for. This is what the pieces have actually so for minus one item, a lot of times that's either the sticker or the instructions, some unusual piece, it sometimes doesn't sell. And this is what I have in my store. So if I was going to look at the value, I'm looking more at what this is. And that is the part out value of a set. But let's say you're wanting to sell just the whole set as one. So we'll go back to the screen we're at before, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do set, and I'm going to do 6373, the motorcycle shop, and now we're going to see what it has sold for in the different conditions. All right, and you can also get to this if you go actually to the set and look at the catalog, and we see here last six months sale. These are over here are sealed sets that have sold for 200 to $300, that, my friend, is ridiculous. In fact, the only new one listed right now is almost $400. But you see, here are the used ones. And sometimes you have to check. These may not be complete. Uh, they may be missing a few items, may not have the sticker right or something. So uh, the sellers usually do a good job of telling you that. Sometimes they don't. Uh, this is like eBay. you got good sellers and bad sellers. Most of them are good, though. But you can see what they've sold for. So $63. So a lot of times these old vintage sets, they are better to sell as a set rather than individual pieces. Um, but if you take something that's new, like the bike shop, let's see if they got it in there yet. I'm going to look at the part out value of, I think this is the bike shop. All right, bike shop and cafe. Look at that, a hundred and eighty-eight dollars. That was what people have actually sold the pieces for. A ninety-dollar set already has a two-to-one ratio of the part-out value versus what the set is worth. That makes me think maybe I should buy more of those. You know, I wasn't happy with that set. Uh, because it seems small, but you get a lot of small pieces, which are great for making mocks. And that's one reason it's probably $188. So with new sets, almost always the part-out value is the way to go. And 
Man, that is a good deal. I see, I didn't even know that about that set. And let's look at the uh, Mini Cooper. Let's see what the part out value of it is. No, look at that. A <laughs> hundred dollar set already has a part out value of three hundred dollar dollars. Guess what? I'm going to be buying more of the Mini Cooper. So anyway, that shows you the true value of stuff. Uh, these people that go and buy a sealed set, you know how long it'll take you to get a seal to sell the Mini Cooper as a sealed set for $300. It's going to take many, many, many years. Right now, you can go buy one, part it out, and that is the average sale price of the parts. Now, that will go down as more and more people get these Mini Coopers. That price will drop. So if you're wanting to get that price, you know, now is the time to do it. So anyway, I hope that helps. That was the question by Ballistic Bricks there, how to find the part out that value. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned it, but you want to go back Save this price guide as a shortcut on your browser, whether it's on your phone, whatever mobile device you're using, on your computer. Save this price guide. This is what I use when I'm in the store. This is how I determine what sets I'm going to buy. If there's a lot on clearance and I can't really afford to get all of them, I get the ones with the best part out value or the ones that I like. A lot of times it's better to get the ones you like. Anyway, that is a long answer to a short question. Thanks for watching. This is Briggsart.